basics of stock market for beginners so this is a video series so uh, we are just sitting on day 8 and uh, I have just given the early videos link in the description so uh, if you want to start from the beginning you can just watch it over there myself Ganesan Dharnitran a certified research analyst and branch manager of Alive Blue Financial Service Pondicherry and um, in this uh, video series we have already seen the price action trading cpr indicator and camarilla trade setups uh, now we are lying on option basics so from next week onwards we will be uh, watching on the option strategies and we'll be graduated and uh, so these are the topics which we have covered in price action trading and uh, these are the topics which is covered in uh, cpr indicator and uh, the camarilla um, trade Trade setups okay and uh, yesterday we have covered the call option put option intrinsic value extrinsic value option premium strike price money nurse expiration so these are the things which are covered in yesterday's video so I have just given the link of yesterday's video in uh, the descriptions also and uh, option Greeks and impaired volatility so the, we are going to start with option Greeks today so once we complete it we'll just speak more about the impaired volatility by tomorrow and we'll be starting the option strategies okay so uh, we, are, we are going to discuss like almost like uh, the trend strategy what we have given over here but along with that we'll be looking at uh, the other strategies also okay yeah uh, let's see like uh, alok uh, definitely i'll just do that okay so uh, tomorrow without any fail i'll be definitely providing you the P the pdf format of this particular uh, uh, ppt okay so uh, don't worry and because uh, it, it is it is my fault and uh, i'm just delayed it for a long time okay sorry for that now uh, let me just go through the slides one by one what we have seen yesterday and then we'll be starting uh, from the payoff diagram okay so option basics and uh, the current market price is somewhere like uh, 35,333 so which was the uh, Friday's closing data okay so uh, we have uh, we understood about the call options and uh, option premium reactions and uh, its profitability and put option and its uh, option premium reactions and we, we just understand about the strike price contracts and uh, the strike difference and the expiration okay and we spoke about the moneyness which is at the money out of the money and in the money okay and we discuss about the option chains and option premium the intrinsic value extrinsic value and uh, how the premiums will react to the price movement uh, and uh, what will be the intrinsic value on each strikes okay and at the money and in the money and what will happen on the uh, Thursday expiry okay so what will happen to the intrinsic value what will happen to the extrinsic value so these are things which we discussed yesterday and uh, based on the option premium we can calculate how much intrinsic value that particular uh, option premium has and the extrinsic value also can be calculated okay so we have just given the formula for call option and put option okay so let me just start uh, the day with the break even calculation okay let me just start it with the break even calculation okay so uh, because this is more important because uh, like many many used to say whether well, i buy call option or put option but uh, the, the market uh, the market is continuously raising but still i am in loss Okay, see the market is moving in my side, but still I'm in loss means definitely it 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 it, it is uh, it is something wrong, right? Okay, so uh, I believe that uh, it should not be the case. Okay, so uh, now let me understand what's the reason behind it. Okay, so what's the reason behind it? Uh, behind uh, the option DK, we need to understand okay so on that case let me just calculate the first first we need to calculate the break-even price okay so um, the call option okay so it is nothing but a rights to buy 25 shares of bank nifty at agreed premium and agreed strike price okay see like uh, in in our case so the current market price is somewhere like 35,333 okay and uh, the 36,000 call option it's trading at a premium of uh, 
okay now we need to calculate the break even so see like uh, the one thing uh, you need to understand over here is you have already paid a premium you already paid a premium of 308 rupees which means that which means that the 36000 call option will be trading more than 308 rupees will be trading more than 308 rupees that is what your assumption is okay and what happened over here the 36000 call option so we just uh, in order to calculate the break even price we need to add the spike price and the premium paid what is the premium paid which is the 308.2 okay so what is the strike price it's 36000 okay so i just add 36000 and 308 now it gives us the value of 36000 308.2 okay until until the price moves above 36308 okay on expiration okay if it is going above this only then only you'll be profitable then only you will be profitable okay let me just understand don't worry in the, in the upcoming slides you will see the play of diagram and the t plus 0 t plus 1 t plus 2 t plus 3 these concepts are the things which are going to discuss in the upcoming slides don't worry so if you don't uh, if you don't understand the concept of break even point calculation okay so don't worry you will be in very clear picture once this presentation is done okay so uh, in the uh, in the call options payoff chart okay this is how it looks like this is how it looks like okay so most of you guys uh, would know this for those who don't know how to uh, uh, place the payoff chart okay i can just give you some uh, example for that let me just bring the off start definitely okay so this is the website where uh, i used to uh, draw all my payoff diagrams okay so uh, you can just go to google and type opstra o p s t r e opstra okay and uh, you can find opstra.definage.com you just click on it and it direct you to this page and it direct you to this page now what you do you just click on get started now you click on get started okay so what is um, now what we are dealing with we are dealing with nifty or bank nifty you guys can type it in the chat box see i, I want things to be live so whenever you find something uh, from something uh, which i ask that ask like a question you can just like that type it in the chat box okay so uh, it is not like uh, um, like it's, it should not be a one-way communication so once you communicate with me then only I'll be in position to understand and I can explain you uh, if someone says it wrong so I can just uh, give a once again I can give a try and explain you so that everyone can be on the same page okay see like this video is for only for the novices this is not for the people who are uh, having a very good knowledge and options okay <coughs> see uh, now we are dealing with bank nifty right so uh, i can just select bank nifty now uh, whether it is a future or option we are dealing with we are dealing with options so now you click over here and select options okay so there is expiry right so uh, there are lots of expiries now in this case uh, we do have we do have like uh, the 10th march okay so uh, we take that as expiry so uh, 10th march is on wednesday 10th march is on wednesday why it is on wednesday see like 11th is uh, mahashivaratri so because of that uh, the nse has declared a trading holiday okay so we'll be uh, once thursday is on leave on a weekly expiry the expiry will happen on the on wednesday or friday you can just type it in the chat box it will be on wednesday or friday okay if thursday is on leave then the expiry will be on wednesday if wednesday and thursday is on leave then it will be on tuesday okay so it will be a pre point only it will be not postponed okay so now so now if you see um i just selected the expiry and what is the option strike okay so let me just go to the presentation once again so it is 36000 call option it is 36000 call option okay so let me just type 36000 
call option okay you can you need to select it okay and you see in the bot uh, the next one is call option or put option we are dealing with what option we are dealing with call option okay now i'm going to do what operation whether i'm going to buy or sell i'm going to buy so i just click on buy and how many lots for the for time constraint we keep it as only one lot and i just click on add position now i click on add position so this will give me the pay off chart okay this will give me the pay off chart okay so uh, many of you guys uh, would think like how a pay off diagram works on see this is how we need to add the details in obstra okay so uh, by doing so you can find the payoff diagram okay i'm really thankful for uh, obsta for providing this facility and it is free of cost for the for for everyone okay so definitely it is helping all the retailers okay so uh, now let me just uh, understand what are the things which given over here see here the pop the pop means probability of profit is only 25 percentage okay 25 percent of the time only you can be profitable okay and profitability is unlimited you have unlimited profitability and what will be a maximum loss the maximum loss will be the premium what you have paid the premium what you have paid so what's the premium you have paid if you see in the chart you know the premium paid is 308.2 308.2 okay so now let me just bring in 308.2 into 25 which gives us 7705 so that is what our maximum loss is okay so if you see here what's the maximum loss it shows 7705 rupees okay this is the maximum loss you can incur now what about the break even see the break even shows the 36309 okay it just rounded off okay so uh, based on our calculation it is 36308.2 okay so once it breaks this value once it breaks this value then only we will be profitable then only we will be profitable okay so until and unless it crosses this level of 36308 you are going to be in loss okay see like what is the assumption you have okay yesterday we thought one thing okay yesterday what we seen like uh, um what is what i told is uh, my expectation is market will go above 36000 call option market will go above 36000 call option that is what the assumption i had okay so what happened so what happened if if the particular price is expiring at 36000 now let me understand how the premium how the how we will be profitable in the upcoming days okay how we will be profitable in the upcoming days so let me just understand one by one now to understand it very clearly see uh 25 26,000, right at 26,000, you find like two datas over here one is t plus zero okay let me just uh, zoom in the value is t plus zero and pnl there are two values right what is t plus zero and what is pnl okay there there might be lots of question for the retailers why it is showing two lines okay there is two lines right in the payoff diagram one is t plus zero and the other one is pnl okay the t plus zero is nothing but the t plus zero is nothing but uh it is like today's okay so today uh, i just traded and today okay so today if the market moves this much point this is going to be my profitability and what's the solid line the solid line over here you see right the orange line the bottom and the green line the top they are the values at expiration those are the values at expiration okay on next wednesday what is going to be the value okay if it is expiring at this point okay so what will be the profitability okay so now let me just see once i move the chart it just shows you that how much how much are going to be profitable okay how much you're going to be profitable so that is what it shows over here okay now uh, let me just take uh, 36000 right so 36000 oh my god i can't stop it exactly okay see like uh, let me just consider this 
36,000 hey, okay see 36,007 okay now uh, at this point what's the t plus 0 what's the t plus 0 the t plus 0 means it is the first day so it is today right it is today, like uh, okay let me just say this value is from friday okay so friday if the mood okay so current market price is somewhere like 35333 which is uh, which is the current market price so on friday itself on friday itself it moved to the level of 36000 okay so it just moved to the level of 30 36000 okay so what will be the t plus 0 on that day it is 8058 rupees okay 8058 rupees so let me just plot it over there okay so it is 8056 rupees 8056 okay so uh, now let me just uh, calculate for t plus 1 which is on monday okay the t plus uh, t plus 1 is on monday okay so monday what will be the value at 36000 okay i just take this value it is 8123 okay 8123 8, okay it is 8123 and what about on tuesday at same 36000 it is only 8000 on t plus 0 it's 8000 it is 8000 and what about on the expiration date what about on the expiration date on expiration date you, you no need to check on the t plus 0 you just to check on the bottom pnl line okay on bottom pnl line okay the loss will be the what's the premium we have paid okay so it will be minus seven zero zero seven seven zero five it will be minus seven seven zero five okay so if you are going to be like uh, in order to be profitable in order to be profitable like if it is like a t plus zero on uh, friday okay so if the if the price would have reached the level of thirty six thousand, you would have been profitable or you will be profit on eight thousand rupees and t plus one it should be like eight thousand hundred rupees and t plus two it's eight thousand rupees and what about on expiration date on expiration at 330 the market reached the level of thirty six thousand, then it becomes as a at the money then it becomes as a at the money what will happen to the at the money premium on expiration what will happen to the at the money premium on expiration yes exactly so the at the money on expiration in general at the money carries only the extrinsic value the extrinsic value on expiration will become zero okay on big on expiration it becomes zero okay did, did it said something uh, wrong because i'm not sure like uh, first day either the t plus zero is the current date on on which we take the trade okay because i'm not sure like whether what i told on the live okay so um, so this is how we calculate the t plus zero data okay this is how we calculate the t plus zero data because like each and every day okay see like if the market moves on your direction also okay you have a probability of losing the trade okay you have the probability of losing the trade okay at the money and out of the money will become zero because they contain only extrinsic value okay so uh, now let me just uh, understand about the put option simultaneously uh, 
put option is the rights to sell 25 shares of bank nifty at agreed premium and at agreed strike price okay so the current market price is uh, 35333 so what i decide is market will come below the level of 34800 okay so i decided to buy it okay so i decided to buy it um if you just calculate so how we calculate the break even price how we calculate the break even price so the strike price minus the premium paid okay strike price minus the premium paid okay so um, what's the strike price is 34800 and minus what's the premium we paid which is 440 so which gives us 34360 34,360 okay so um, I think now you are clear how to calculate the break-even for the put options break-even for the put options okay now this is how the payoff diagram looks like now let me just understand how to place the payoff diagram uh, for ops uh, for put option in Opstar. let me just go back to the home and this is how the home page looks like for Opstar. You just click on get started once you click on get started things looks like this so we are dealing with nifty or bank nifty we are dealing with nifty uh, so we are de dealing with bank nifty so i just click on bank nifty and then options and what's the expiration is the 10th march is the expiration and what's the strike price it's 34800 34800 put option the 34,800 put option okay so the options um, the PPT shows rights to sell okay. like um, we just click on buy and the lot size will be one and the lot size will be one and then I click on add position okay just click on add position okay so now in this case uh, if you see like uh, this is how the payoff diagram for a put option looks like okay if you're buying a put option this is how the payoff diagram looks like okay so now so now let me just understand um, how the how the profitability varies with the help of t plus zero okay on t plus zero how it happens okay so let me just uh, take t plus zero which is on friday so if i take in the trade on friday okay so what is my break even point is the break even now let me just calculate for the break even point instead of calculating on the strike price okay so 34 360 okay 34 360 okay this is gonna take up so if the particular price has reached on the same day on friday itself okay uh, the break even has been attained then we will be having a profitability of how much rupees 10,515 okay let me just put it there 10,515 10,515 will be the premium on the day now let me just understand if we move it to t plus 1 t plus 1 is on Monday so if it is on Monday, then it will be three five sorry. So I just calculated on four three sixty three four three sixty three four three sixty. I think I calculated somewhere wrong. I think so. Oh, yeah, it, it's right. Uh, so 34360, it is uh, 10,600. 10, Let me just keep it as 10,600. 10,600. Okay. On Tuesday, let me see what happens. Which is like T plus 2.
It is 10,400. 10,400. 10,400. And obviously, on the expiry day, it will become zero. On expiry day, it will become zero. Okay. See, you will be not profitable until it crosses the break even point. Okay. You will be not profitable. Okay. You'll be not profitable when it when it crosses the break until it crosses the break even point okay yeah i'll just do the correction sorry for that okay now let me just move on to the option greeks okay so uh, i believe that you guys understand very clearly about the uh, the payoff diagram for call of uh, for call options and put option and how to uh, draw the payoff diagram and the break even calculations on the break even calculations okay for call option we will be adding the premium with the strike price for the put option we will be subtracting the we need to, we will be subtracting the premium from the uh, we will be subtracting from the strike price from the sorry, premium we will just subtract the premium from the strike price okay so if we do so we'll be getting the break even for the put options and uh, we'll be adding once we add the premium to the uh, strike price then we'll get the break even for the call options okay so now let me just move on to the option clicks yeah see like definitely from 36000 onwards uh, the premium will be increased okay but what happens if it is if it is expiring within the break even then uh, from uh, the premium what you uh, paid right will be getting eroded based upon the expiration price okay so the first option greeks let me understand about the delta and once delta is done then we'll move on to uh, gamma and theta okay so uh, that is the plan for today i think uh, it is a bit difficult to uh, complete delta and uh, because the delta itself will takes lots of time okay so um, do i suggest in the money out of the money and out of them or uh, at the money see like uh, i don't suggest any sort of uh, naked uh, options okay so anyhow uh, from uh, next week onwards we'll be looking at the strategy so uh, we can plan for the strategy trade setups instead of going naked on call or put or something like that sir how it will be profit when it uh, reaches the break even see when it reaches break even it will be not profitable it need to travel beyond the beyond the break even okay then only you can make profit okay can i earn 15000 per day so uh, it depends upon your capital if if you are making something out of uh, making something like a 1% on a day it, i i feel that is more risky so it is better to have like uh, based on your capital only you can decide whether 15k or 1k or 2k okay it depends upon your, your capital alone okay so in the money will have have profit yeah definitely only the in the money will have profit but the in the money pre, uh, the premium see the in the money will be having the profit but what the premium we, we paid in in advance so that's what matters okay so let me just move on to uh, option greeks delta okay see uh, the rate of change of option premium okay the rate of change of option premium uh, based on one point move in stocks or index okay so the rate of change of option premium based on one point move in stocks or index okay that is what we call it as delta okay see like uh, um let me just show it in a chart so that you can understand clearly okay this is the bank nifty chart let me just put on three minutes see the market has the price has moved from here to here it is almost like 1.28 percentage 
how much points of move 400 and for 445 points of move over here okay so now what I say in the chart uh, in the presentation is the rate of change of option premium based on one point move in stocks or index okay that is what the option with delta defines okay so the 400 445 points it has moved right okay now let me just take the call option 35,000 call option okay let me just take uh, 35,000 call option okay so I just buy it uh, buy it when uh, when the price was somewhere like uh, 34,895 okay this is where I given the entry so what the premium the premium would have been somewhere like uh, the 35,000 call option premium would have been somewhere like 500 or 600 okay so how much it will be changing from uh, from 500 to it has moved from five, whenever uh, in the lower rate it was 500 and in the top point it was somewhere like 800 okay so the premium difference is how much 300 points so the premium difference is 300 points so it is defined on what factor how on, on what multiple based on this 445 points it has moved okay the multiple is known as the option delta okay the multiple is known as the option delta don't, don't worry guys I'll just explain you in a very clear way in the upcoming slide so that uh, it will not confuse you further okay see these topics are very uh, tough to understand why because uh, they are more theoretical and uh, they keep on vary right so uh, in order to understand those things you need to spend lots of time to uh, understand these concepts very clearly okay so uh, now let me just understand the delta range okay the delta always ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 the delta ranges from from minus 1 to plus 1 okay for put option well put option the delta value will be on negative for put option the delta value will be negative and it starts from minus 1 to 0 whereas for call option it will be from 0 to plus 1 okay from call option it will be from 0 to plus 1 now let me just understand uh, the call option premium okay so um, which strike price has what sort of uh, delta value okay so as i defined the uh, first thing you need to understand is the at the money call option the at the money call option will have 0.5 as the delta value at the money call option will have 0.5 as the delta value okay um don't worry guys see like uh, anyhow I, i'm going to discuss about it don't worry okay see like uh, the at the money is will have always 0.5 as the delta value for both call option and put option for call option it will have point plus 0.5 and for put option it will have minus 0.5 that's it okay for plus uh, for call option it will be plus 0.5 for put option it will be minus 0 0.5 what uh, what minus it is for at the money okay the in the money the in the money will vary from 0.5 to 0.5 to minus 1 in put option whereas in call option it will be from 0.5 to plus 1 okay it will be the in the money in the money delta value okay and what about the out of the money out of the money varies from 0.5 to 0 0.5 to 0 okay in the case of put option it will be minus 0.5 to 0 okay so uh, don't worry guys still if you don't understand wait wait definitely you will be understanding things on this slide okay so don't worry because these concepts are quite uh, it's not only boring it will be quite uh, difficult for you guys to understand if you are totally beginner to options Okay, if you're totally beginners to option then definitely it will be quite difficult for you to understand but still I can make it very simple in this slide okay so don't worry okay so uh, if you see here for call option the uh, I have just given the bottom so 35,300 call option is the at the money what I have defined okay and the, and uh, that's a value also so what will be the uh, what will be the what will be the delta value for it it will be 0 0.5 plus 0 
and what about in the money what about in the money so 35200 35100 so 34500 these these are the in the money call options these are the in the money call options so the in the money call option it it just keeps on increasing okay the delta value will keep on increasing 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 to dot 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 and it moves till like uh, the very deep in the money will have one as a okay the very deep in the money option will have one as the delta value okay if one point move in bank nifty will make a one point move in the option premium also okay so in this case if you see in the out of the money see like a 35 400 or 8 to attain 35 600 is also 8 to attain 35 700 also it is 8 to attain so if that is the case what happens the delta value keeps on decreasing and it moves to the deep out of the money will have delta value of zero the deep out of the money will have delta value of zero okay guys so uh, now let me just move directly to the option greeks uh, slide where we will understand the the calculation behind it okay so uh, in order to explain that i will just bring on any one uh, okay so any one strike price let me just bring in okay so uh, my value will be 35000 will be uh, i'll be selecting 35000 as the strike price okay so what's the strike prices let me just type it over here see but the, by the end of this explanation by the end of this explanation you will be very clear and uh, understand uh, the delta very clearly okay so let me just 35000 call option is what i'm going to buy my my action will be i'm planning to buy it okay so now let me just bring in my kind account okay so it will be like uh, 36000 35000 35000 10th march call option okay i just bring in the chart for you now let me just mark one horizontal line so where we take the entry okay so this is the horizontal line and we take the entry for 25000 call option okay at this level so let me just draw another line over here so i buy it at the price of what will be the price so i just take which candle it is it is uh marking in three minutes so let me, this is also in three minutes so the candle is 14 09 which is two o'clock nine minutes so let me just draw over here a vertical line 209 so i just take the entry at the low the low made for this candle is you can you guys can type it the low made for this candle is 581.05 581.05 it is 581.05 okay so that is my entry that is my entry and when i just close the trade when i just close the trade so this is my buy entry okay so let me just draw another line so here is where i take profit take profit okay i take profit what's the value so i just take the value as close the close value of this particular candle is 760 it is 760 okay so this much premium it has moved this much premium it has moved okay so when the market price is trading when the market price see like uh, now you guys need to be more interactive 
because this concept will be very clear if you if you also concentrate on this particular trade setup okay and unless and until you're doing so definitely it is not going to work out okay uh okay that's fine i don't know i know english and tamil that's it sorry for that okay so um now if you uh 50581 as the entry and the take profit is somewhere like 3 uh, 760 okay so how much points the market has moved the market has moved almost like 400 445 points okay the market has moved from the low 445 points okay see when the market is trading when the market is trading at 34,000 see like uh, the value of it is 34,890 897 okay 34,897 is the price over there so during that time 35,000 call option will be an out of the money or will be out of the money or at the money or in the money when the market trading at when the market trading at let me just put it over here the current market price will be 34,897 okay so at this value I define to buy 35,000 call option so during this current market price what will be the what will be the um, moneyness of 35,000 call option whether it will be out of the money or in the money or at the money it will be out of the money exactly definitely it will be out of the money definitely it will be out of the money so in this case for out of the money call option for out of the money call option we have a premium we have a premium which is about to be from 0.5 to 0 okay plus 0.5 to 0 so this is what the value we will get okay see hence it is very near uh, nearby uh, otm which is only 100 points otm okay it is only 100 points otm in that case we have a uh, we, we will have a like a 0.4 okay let me just take the delta for the for time sake for time sake we consider it as for time sake we consider it as delta value as 0.4 okay we just calculate as 0.4 or 0.45 okay we can keep it as 0.45 also okay so at entry at entry 35,000 call option 35,000 call option had a delta value of uh, let me just keep it as 0 0.45 itself okay delta value of 0. 4 5 itself okay now the difference between both okay so if you see here uh, i just mark the difference between both so difference between both is 104 points the difference between both is 104 points okay so the 104 104 points of move okay 104 points of move in bank nifty okay in bank nifty how much premium will be changed from 581 to how much premium it will be changing when it reaches the value of 35,000 which is 104 points above which is 104 points above okay when the market was was at uh, 34,897 let me just keep it as 34,900 okay when the value was 34,900 let me just put it as 34900 for round of values so here we have like only 100 points of move okay so it's like 100 points of move so in another 100 points of move how much this premium is going to be varied the 581 uh, premium which you have already bought for uh, you have spent for buying the 35000 call option okay so how much points it will move okay so many got the answers right now itself that's really good okay see the delta value what i kept is 0.45 not 0.4 i kept the value as 0.45 
okay so now let me just go to the slide and once again i read it for you the rate of change of option premium based on one point of move in stocks or an index okay so how much premium it is going to change for one point of move in the index itself okay see now let me just understand uh, here we put it as 100 okay so now we are we are seeing an example here we are making it as 100 okay the pre the difference between uh, the entry point and where we have defined uh, we can book the profit so we just define it as a uh, 100 points of move okay for 100 points of move how much premium will be increased on 581 now let me just calculate it in very simple logic okay hence it is a product so how much point it has moved it has moved 100 points what is the delta value is 0 0.45 you just multiply the delta value along with the pre along with the points the particular stock or the index mode okay now how much you get it is 45 okay the premium okay now the premium will increase by premium will increase by 45 points for 100 points of move move in bank nifty okay for this 100 and 100 points of move okay the premium will increase by 45 points how it happens we know that the delta value delta value we consider it as 0 0.45 okay it is hence it is call option it is plus 0 0.45 excuse me so delta value is 0 plus 0 0.45 okay so how much points it has moved points moved is 100 where 100 into 0 0.45 which results in 45 points okay now what is the early premium early premium early premium is somewhat 581 581 okay 581.05 okay now we know that 581.05 plus 45 will give you how much plus 581.05 it gives you 626.05 6 to 6.05 that's it Okay, let me just consider it as 626. Okay, so who's the first one to Yokesh Kumar is the first one to answer it? I think so. No, before that, Prabhu said Prabhu is 626, and before that, anyone said no. Prabhu was the first one to say that. Really good. Okay, so this is how uh, the option premiums the option premium moves. Okay, this is how the option premium moves on. Okay. I hope you guys understood it very clearly yes or no so if it is like yes please uh, please you can just type it in the chat box and you can like this uh, video so doing so I can understand you definitely like this content okay so uh, see it is it is very easy to understand okay but the thing is uh, it may take some time for you to uh, understand it in a very clear way okay Okay, so those who are new to our video, like uh, those who are watching our video for the first time, please do subscribe to the uh, to our YouTube channel so that uh, you can definitely be um, you can you can get lots of knowledge videos in the upcoming days. Okay, so hence in this video series we have uh, we have just bought you lots and lots of knowledge about price action trading, CPR indicator, Camarilla, and now in options. Okay, so by end of this video series, you will be in position to take trades. Of your own and you no need of any sort of uh, training 
or uh, you can give lots of clarification for even for your friends okay so uh, definitely it will be a very good uh, you'll feel the difference okay Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you for liking. Okay, so um, it's really happy like guys. I can see like 208 likes over there. Actually, I'm, I'm not I'm not feeling well today because uh, yesterday I had a uh, uh, I just went out in sun and came back and took a head bath. So after that what happens it is it, 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 it has become like a uh, very hard for me to speak also so um, I, I, I can just say like my voice has been totally changed there, there is some changes in my voice it's all because of the cold which I have and um, it will be because and it's very difficult for me to um, speak out today also okay so yesterday it was okay okay but now it is more uh, like uh, I, I feel difficult in, uh, in my speech so because so once you have this fever fever or cold right so you can't concentrate on things and it'll be like a, a very horrible. Okay, so let me just start. Okay, guys. Uh, okay, where we can find the delta value? See, like uh, it is not uh, that much important to understand the delta value. See, like uh, um, how to say, like I don't want to totally eradicate things but uh, what is delta is enough in order to uh, build a option strategy okay so how a premium changes like if someone ask you okay it might be your colleague okay so if someone ask you see like uh, I bought it at the level of uh, 581 and uh, 100 points of move was there in 100 points of move was there in bank nifty but my option premium moved only 45 points okay they may say you like this but you can say them very clearly see the hence it is out of the money it has a uh, it has a probability of the delta value ranging from point plus point 0.5 to 0 okay so hence you taken very nearby call option uh, very nearby call option which is otm so you can just uh, consider it as a uh, 45.45 as the delta value hence point 0.45 is a delta value 100 points of move so that 0.45 into 100 will give you 45 points okay so the premium what you have already uh, you have paid for buying it was 581 and now it has gained 45 points so altogether it has given you a value of 625 so you have made a profit of 45 rupees so this is how you can explain to your colleague okay so that uh, this is how we calculate uh, um, so based on the price movement on the underlying how much option premium will increase okay so this is how you can explain them very clearly okay so uh, what is the link between break even and the premium increase due to delta sir um no I, even i i can't relate it uh, like break even and increase Surya, like i can't understand it thank you thank you guys thank you invitation the delta values get on option chain yeah see like um like share can provides it uh, okay so uh, I'm, I'm not sure like about the other brokers but share can provides the delta value that too for uh, the premium customers like uh, those who have the ota signed off they they have the option of getting the delta values i think so okay there, there are lots of uh, websites which which gives gives it for free of cost also okay yeah, definitely like even I, I just need to have some hot water but unfortunately what happens hence it is Sunday there is no one in the office to uh, support me from the side in general there will be someone who is sitting next to me but right now it is quite hard hence it is Sunday sure definitely uh, we'll just do see like most of our trades are positional trades don't worry like uh, we can um, after this session right so after this trading session uh, we'll be in positions to uh, uh, take trades of your own 
And another important thing, most of the option trades which we take are not intraday trades. So they are positional trades so that we can we can discuss it one day early. So uh, after that, you can take the trade on the next day. OK, so just hold on. Hello. Okay, guys. So, uh, thank you. Actually, I just got a very important call, so uh, I, I just need to say them whether uh, I'm I'm in live or because uh, it, it it is coming from a shop. Okay, if there is any problem, then I need to check it check on it. Okay, so uh, now I think you guys understood it very clear way. And uh, what about the put option? And what about the put option? Okay, if you see like. Uh, now let me just consider okay so I just bought a put option okay so uh, what put option it can be just a moment so it is 35,000 right so it is somewhere here so I take the strike price as um, 34,800 okay so now let me just take the strike price as 34,800 34,800 Okay, so when the price was here, I just uh, buy a put option. It's 34,800 put option. I just bought it over here. 34, I just bought it over here. But fortunately, market went up for 100 points. Uh, went up 100 points. Okay, so like that we can define it. Let me just draw another line. Thirty-five, so thirty-four, eight hundred is the strike price. So I had a plan that market will come down, but unfortunately, it went on top. Okay, so thirty-four, eight hundred put option. Now the chart is for you okay so uh, nine so this is a candle and this candle high we may take the trade high is 610 high is 610 I just buy and the entry four eighty PE had a delta value. So hence, uh, okay. Now I'm taking the trade. I'm taking the trade at this level. Okay, I'm taking the trade at this level. So uh, thirty four. So it's like a thirty four. Uh, thirty four nine hundred. A uh, uh, thirty four nine hundred. I'm taking the trade. Uh, what about 34,800? Whether it will be an out of the money or in the money or at the money? Okay, so whether it will be in the money, out of the money or at the money? Yes, it will be out of the money. Okay, it will be out of the money. Okay, so now in this case, now in this case, so okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm not in flow as well. Yeah, I feel like um, continuous. Right? It, it it was something like uh, I was quite disturbed today. <laughs> Okay, okay, no problem. See, like in anyhow, like uh, things happens. Okay, so uh, once you are uh, having any sort of cold or fever, you will be not in position to uh, uh, even even work on. Okay, so it, it's a bit difficult, but still uh, I can just uh, handle with things. I think so.
okay so uh, it will be out of the money okay so uh, what happens i consider it the delta value will be 0.4 okay for for namesake i just keep it as 0.4 okay the premium what i bought in is uh, put option 348 put option i just make the entry at the level of what is the high of the scandal is 610 okay so uh, it will be at 610 It will be 610 okay now um 3500 by entry at 610 okay so uh, but what happens fortunately the market has to come down the market has to come down but unfortunately what happened the market started to move up okay the delta value over here will be minus 0.4 the delta value will be minus 0.4 hence we deal with put option hence we deal with put option okay so what will happen to the premium what will happen to the premium for 100 points of more okay in either direction we will calculate it okay so either either uh, either way do we do it okay so um, this went 100 points 100 points against okay 100 points against means what happens so 100 points against means it went above right so uh, now we calculate it 100 points it went above into what is the delta value minus 0 0.4 which clearly says that it will be how much value minus 40 minus 40 so already the value is 610 minus 40 will result in 500 and 570 okay it will be 570 okay so it will be 570 so what happens it has lost 40 points okay and we will be in loss of 40 points also okay now let me consider this and bring it over here now let me calculate if the market price comes like this so the price comes like this and it forms a candle like this okay it forms a candle red color candle like this so a hundred points hundred points in our direction okay in our direction it travels then how much premium it has came down it has came down minus 100 points it has came down minus 100 points we would have learnt in our school days we would have learnt in our school days minus into minus is plus plus into minus is okay let me just ask you guys okay so in school days definitely you would have uh, learnt it or your son or daughter would have learnt it okay so minus uh, let me just make it bold minus into minus okay minus into minus will give you plus and plus into plus will give you plus and minus into plus will give you minus and uh, plus into minus will give you minus okay definitely you would have learned this in your school uh, school days okay now in this case also you see uh, the market moved how much points ne negative minus 100 points so minus 100 into what is the delta value which is minus 0.4 okay so minus into minus becomes plus and 40 points okay so what happens 40 um 610 plus 40 which resulted in 650 rupees okay so whenever there is a down move in a down move whenever you bought a particular put option then the option premium will increase okay and if it goes against you 
if it goes above 100 points then 40 points will be negative so how it is calculated it is calculated based on the delta value it is calculated based on the delta sorry it is calculated based on the delta value and uh, for out of the money the delta value ranges from 0 0.5 to 0 0 0.5 to 0 in the case of call option and put option minus 0 0.5 to 0 okay so now let me just go through the slide one by one so that now you guys can understand it in a very clear way okay if you start with delta the rate of change of option premium based on one point move in stock or index based on one point move in stock or index okay so what it says what it says it says very clearly that based on the option the option premium changes based on the points of move in the stock or the index okay okay so uh, what it varies from minus one to plus one for put option it will be from minus one to zero and from zero to plus one it will be call option okay so in this case if you see the for call option you see at the, at the money will have plus 0.5 and uh, above uh, from 0 0.5 to 1 will be carried by in the money okay and out of the money will be carried by 0 0.5 to 0 okay so the out of the money will have the these delta values okay so whereas for put option it varies from 0 to 1 and at the money will have 0 0.05 and at the money will have 0 0.05 and uh, towards the left you find the out of the money which varies from uh, 0 to minus uh, 0 to minus 0 0.5 and uh, from minus 0 0.5 to minus 1 it will be in the money okay so now i hope you guys understand very clearly about the price movement of the delta okay so now uh, you guys can uh, answer it in a clear way like uh, there is a 50 points increase in bank nifty there is a 50 points increase in in uh, bank nifty okay so 0.5 is the delta value so 50 points of move will increase how much premium will increase 25 points of premium because it is at the money so uh, it's 0.5 delta into 50 points will give you 25 points of increase in okay so here if you see like minus 0.5 and 50 points of decrease gives a minus 50 so altogether point uh, 12.5 premium increase will be there okay will be 12.5 will be the increase in option premium okay so uh, i hope you guys understood it very clearly this is how the option premium changes based on the delta value okay so this is the final conclusion i hope i made it very clear okay this is how the delta works on the change of option premiums okay so this is how this is how the option premium changes okay i hope you guys understood to the uh, the clear way okay and i believe that at last i, I made this uh, video to be um, more understandable more understandable about the options uh, greeks which is known as the first part of option greeks which is the delta okay so because delta is something very important we need to understand okay delta is something very important we need to understand okay so uh, so tomorrow we will be discussing about the gamma and theta okay so gamma is nothing but it is the rate of change of delta okay there was a question sir uh, what about the change in the delta value so delta also will change right so once the market price moves from uh, uh, like uh, from 100 points so definitely there will be change in delta also so the rate of change of delta is known as gamma okay how fast the gamma uh, how fast the delta changes right that is known as gamma okay so that we will see it on the tomorrow session okay so those who are new to the uh, new to our video and watching for the first time please do hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can understand uh, the concepts of uh, options uh, price action and uh, cpr and camera law in a very clear way so definitely it will be very useful for you so uh, please do subscribe and uh,
definitely there will be lots of questions for you guys okay you just keep it in your packet let me just uh, take it after the after the after in the late in the night or by tomorrow morning okay uh, so those who want to be a part of my broadcast you can just type uh, your name and followed by state and admin broadcast to uh, my whatsapp number so it's scrolling in the down okay thank you low from odisha once again example of plus one delta price in short see like delta one is nothing but see like whenever okay now let me just put it in this way okay so uh, because there are lots of questions on delta one so uh, let me just do that okay now i keep the delta value as one okay so what happens the delta will be one so there will be how much points of increase 50 points of increase see similar to buying and similar to buying and future it is okay if future moves a delta value of one okay so uh, options uh, the options will also move uh, if the option has a delta value of one then options will also move equal to the future if future moves 100 points then option premium also increases 100 points if the future moves 200 points then option premium also increase 200 points if it is having a delta value of one okay if it's having a delta value of one so this is how it used to happen okay so uh, i think uh, i'm done for the day and uh, i just thank each and everyone uh, who has joined this session okay thank you guys thank you so much for joining joining this video and uh, if you like this content please hit on like and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel thank you thank you guys good night and uh, i believe that tomorrow my health will be uh, good and i'll be in position to uh, make it quite uh, interesting than today okay so out of running rows i did this session and that and another important thing this is the longest session i think so okay so it's almost like 1 hour 80 minutes yeah sure uh, tomorrow you'll definitely get the pdf without fail in our, in our telegram channel so our telegram channel will be in the same novice hedge you can find it uh, in the telegram so just type novice hedge and it, it is a public group only so anyone can join over there thank you guys thank you everyone for joining this video series bye bye